So in organic chemistry, we often talk about functional groups, and functional groups are groups of, of atoms that can be added to a hydrocarbon chain, for example. And so I've listed some of the major functional groups that students in biology might be interested in. Uh, one group is, is a hydroxyl group, and this is what alcohols are all about. So if you see OH attached to um, an organic compound, then you know that's a, a functional group and, and maybe an alcohol. Another group is a double bonded oxygen attached to a carbon, and this is called a carbonyl group. If the double bonded oxygen is at the end of a chain, then that particular a substance is called an aldehyde. If that double bonded oxygen is in the middle of the chain or it is not on the end, then that's a substance called a ketone. Then we can have carboxylic acid groups. Vinegar, for example, has a carboxylic acid group attached to it, and that's a carbon with both a double bonded oxygen and a hydroxyl group attached to it. Then there's a group called an amine group, and that's a nitrogen with two hydrogens attached to it. And then we have a phosphate group, and the phosphate group is an oxygen with a phosphate uh, or phosphorus and three oxygens attached, and you see that carries a charge of negative two. All right, so let's look at some alcohols, for example. This, uh, if you'll count, has two carbons attached to it, and so our prefix for two is F, and you see we have a single bond between the carbons, and so that means that it would be an AN uh, for the alkanes that have all single bonds. And then you see our OH group, which makes it an alcohol. So this is F and all. E-T-H-A-N-O-L. So it's a carbon with uh, a hydroxyl group attached, and then that carbon's attached to another carbon that has four or three hydrogens. Let's look at propanol. And so prop tells us that we have three carbons. One, two, three. So there are our three carbons. And then here is our OH group or our hydroxyl group. So this is propanol, uh, prop for three carbons, propanol. But let's look at an isomer of propanol, and that would be isopropanol. And with isopropanol, you can see that the uh, middle carbon is the one that has the hydroxyl group attached to it. So Here's carbon, 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 and then the hydroxyl group attached in the middle. So propanol and isopropanol are isomers of one another. They both have the same molecular formula, but you can see that their structural formula is very different.